Hi guys, Samurai here, back with another video. This time, it's a video that I've been looking forward to making for over years. I wanted to make this video last week for my birthday, but as you know, I had video blog. Eid was last week, and you know, it just got a really hectic and I got no time. But, I'm back, and I've forgotten the video block, and here to celebrate Pokemon Legends Arceus, I decided to make a what if on uh, three of Ash's Pokemon, Cyndaquil, Oshawa, and Rowlet. Last time I did, last time I did Cyndaquil, and again I want to give another shout out to Coral Blitz, he helped me bounce around ideas, so check him out. Now let's get started. Get ready for what if Ash's Oshawa evolved. This is going to be one of my longer videos because of how much I want to cover. This is the beginning of black and white and it goes all the way up to the end of black and white so instead of splitting this up into part 1, part 2, part 3 for each section, it's all going to be condensed in one video so imagine this as a what if full series rather than a what if part 1, part 2, part 3. Now, Oshawa was supposed to evolve during the Cancel Team Plasma vs Team Rocket special, but instead, let's have him evolve against the battle against Palpatone. I'm sorry Alex. Ash is not catching Palpatone in this version. Also want to add Snivy evolves against Georgia, but that's not too much to, that won't change much for Samurai. But let's get back to the story. So as a duo, Oshawa's old personality starts to fade. It's a no longer a happy go lucky character like it used to be, where it used to be kinda girl crazy. It's a lot more serious and it trains to an excess. Almost to the point of exhaustion, and it takes great pride with the ability with its blade. It disciplines itself. That is Duat's name, the Discipline Pokemon. However, in their battle against Clay, they actually lose their first battle. This is due to Clay's battling style, where he uses Crocorog Sandstorm along with a barrage of Stone Edges that will hit to hit Duat. And since Duat can't tell where the Stone Edges are coming from due to being blinded by Sandstorm, he loses. However, Ash does help him find a new battling style. I'm calling this battling style Sensory Sword. This style relies on Dua's strong sense of smell and hearing to find the opponent and, the, and deflecting oncoming obstacles with it. It's the blind Shirek type, making Dua somewhat of a blind swordsman. While this won't be too useful in future battles, it'll definitely come up again, hopefully. Ash uses Snervine to help with Leaf Storm along with his own Krokorog. So, you can definitely tell that Duat's getting some definite help, and Duat remembers these. Duat remembers these favors. So you know. While Ash, while Ash does win the battle against Clay after this fight, after they find out their new sensory sword style, nothing happens significant after that until Black and White episode 87. In normal canon, this is where Oshawa learns Hydro Pump. But in this continuity, they go up against Onyx, and Duat, instead of running away, it forces itself to evolve through pure world power. And it's taken out and Onyx is taken out with a single razor shell attack. While Ash goes to greet Samurai in his new state, nothing really happens. Samurai's very dismissive and instead goes to train immediately, not paying any attention to Ash. Unlike Greninja and Refrenim, Samurai prefers to train by itself. Unless he finds a worthy opponent for his blade, Samurai's personality is very stern and solitary. The members on the team that he actually trains with are Snervine, Pikachu, and Crocodile. And Crocodile this time evolves during the Operation Tempest, instead of evolving during Dragonite, as Dragonite will play a key role in this what if. Speaking of which, talking about talking about Samurai and his loss before talking about the Kami Trier and Samurai's loss before. He gains enragement when he sees them again and clearly wants to have a rematch. This rematch is not, it's nothing like ever before. He goes with a razor shell, but again, since they're legendary Pokemon, they keep knocking him back down. Of course, Samurai's not gonna take this lying down and goes berserk. Like he's very pissed off with his willpower. Like he's not going down without a fight. However, this does torrent does activate. But the difference between Blaze with Infernip and Torrent with Samurott is that Ta Samurott is turning on Torrent without him being at low health, and Torrent is not the reason for him going berserk, it's more his own willpower, while Infernip, Blaze was making him go berserk, that is the difference between them. But back to the battle, 
Samurad is just going down and back up faster and stronger and hits it with a double razor shell doing massive damage to Landorus but Landorus is still standing. Even after everything calms down, Ash, Samurad's still going mad like Pikachu is injured, Crocodile's too tired and it's generally knocking out everything that comes in its path until Cynthia's Garchomp managed to take advantage of the battle wounds it has taken and took it down. She instructs Ash to grow a bond with Samurai to control its will and it, it could be a real issue but let's head to the junior card. During the entirety of the tournament Samurai refuses to use Razor Shell but he still listens to Ash. Heck in his match against Iris he does not see Dragonite as a worthy opponent so Dragonite clearly tries to force it to take out a Skullchop as it sees this as an insult. He sees this as Samurott mocking him and not acknowledging his level of strength and power. However, in this fight, Samurott still calm, cool, and collected and still has not taken out its razor shell. Samurott does give a look to Ash and Ash nods and they manage to work together and with that they learn to move Megahorn and they lift Dragonite into the air followed by a super effective Ice Beam causing it to sing. Samurott gives a look of disappointment and shame at Dragonite and from on the group dynamic has never been the same. Ash's as Samurott still has the Razor Shell issue. And with it's time to train, Samurott still goes to train by himself not to mention him and Iris' Dragonite having stare downs all the time. But one day Ash decides to follow Samurott on one of its training expeditions and learns how good Samurott's Razor Shells are. Since Samurott's the formidable Pokemon, he's always searching for a formidable opponent. It only wants to use this play against worthy opponents and Ash starts to understand that Samurott knew Ash followed him and in fact, he never had any ill will to Ash. Samurott is very solitary so they don't have a typical bond but they understand each other and respect each other. However, there is one more thing that we have to cover before the league, being Dragonite. This is after the Drayden battle. While walking, Iris asks Ash if they can have a Pokemon battle at the next Pokemon Center. Ash is confused. Iris tells him this is for Dragonite as it wants to rematch with Ash. Ash understands this and he, he's had many Pokemon with personal grudges so he naturally agrees. The battle does start, the battle starts out. Dragon, Dragonite, Dragonite starts out with a barrage of Thunder Punches while Ash tells Samurai to use Aqua Jet to evade. Ash follows up with a Mega Horn and Dragonite counters with an Ice Beam. Ash with his typical battle style being unpredictable turns the Mega, turns the mega Horn into a Sub-Zero Mega Horn. Both Iris and Dragonite are surprised they hit this massive damage while Dragonite stays standing. Iris tells Dragonite to use Dragon Rush and Ash uses Aqua Jet and it clashes. Samurai gives Ash a look and Ash tells him to use Razor Shell and in the blink of the eye, Sat in the blink of the eye, Dragonite is down. Samurai however does give a look of respect and Samurai starts to train more often with Dragonite after this battle. So that's nice, it shows that Samurai has grown and considers Dragonite a worthy opponent. Now let's go to the league. Now the first few rounds play out the same until Axie gets lost. Yes I'm still including the Axie filler but this time I'm making it better. However in this version, since Samurai usually trains by himself. He recognizes Axew almost immediately and brings it back. But the Kamen battle is definitely a lot different. For one, he didn't forget to bring six Pokemon. Now, Pikachu takes out Hydreigon and Camera sends up for Rockhorn. Tepic handles it in spades and Cameron follows up by sending in Swanna and an offensive comes in and it's a cause. But however, Cameron calls out Samurai and Tepic and, Tepic and Pikachu are knocked out. Ash sends in Cinnarvine but it's not doing much damage so Ash switches into Samurott and it's a clash. You, not to mention Ash's Samurott's tra com training compared to Cameron's Samurott is like night and day. One solitary while the other is very social, it's a battle of opposites but Ash has, but Ash's Samurott is stronger and to add insult to injury it doesn't even use its horn, the ultimate disrespect showing that it does not see Cameron Samurai as a worthy opponent. For Cameron, does, Cameron not understanding asks why Samurai doesn't know how to use Razor Shell. Samurai is unfazed by this but instead stands, preferring to have his actions talk over his words. Cameron says in Riolu, 
Zen Zen who, Ryogu, who is still unevolved. Well, actually, he does evolve in this version. Samura gives Ash a look, and with one razor shell, Lucario goes down. Kamen, however, did bring six Pokemon and turns out Kafagrigus, who was knocked out by Snervine. However, a certain someone was watching the league unfold, one of the members of the Elite Four. And we're gonna reveal who it is at the end of the league. Ash does not use Samurai again in the match against Virgil, instead of relying on Crocodile, who loses to Umbreon v Levani. But after the league, Grimsley does ask Ash to battle him at this location being Black City, seeing that he wants to face Samurai against Bishard. As they're both blade-like Pokemon, he wants to see how strong Ash's Samurai really is, considering that in every match it has been in, it has knocked out its opponent with one solid slash. So the group heads there, the hoop, the hoop heads there first. While on the trip, Samurai and Ash are doing more training, and they notice how fast a Bishop can be, so they train their agility in order to come up with a new style to stop a fast opponent and deal quick damage. With Pikachu and Unpheasant, they come up with a new style. Samra will use his horn to block the movement, while Razor Shell or Ice Beam, well, Razor Shell or Ice Beam counters. This is called the Speed Slayer style. Ash and Samra are confident, while Grimsby is shown to be his typical comic book self. It's a bit. The battle starts. It's Bishop and Samra against each other, and it's super. It's a super intense battle. But with the speed cell, they start to gain a leg up. However, Bishop's no run of the mill. And along with Megahorn Clash with Iron Head, Ice Beam gets clashed by Dark Pulse, and Aqua does get countered by Aerial Lace of all moves. Razor Shell gets caught by Night Slash. Even the Speed Slayer style doesn't even work. They end up losing to Grimsley, who does commend them on a good battle, but reminding, reminding him of himself in the younger of his younger days, and recommends they head to Scalchop Island to find a master. Thus, the Decalor, the Decalor Island's journey happens, and mostly everything stays the same until the Cherim battle where Ash wins. Instead of losing to Thunderfang, he wins the battle, so he has 11 badges, not 11 badges, he has 9 badges, my fault. We can skip to Team Plasma. When the Mind Wave devices don't work on Samurott for some reason, because of its insane willpower and stubbornness. It's one of the few Pokemon that fights along, but this is also the biggest weakness, as its willpower goes berserk once again. Rush, Rush, Rush around unleashes a massive fusion flare, and Ice Beam clashes with it. Ash tries to get it to listen, but does not give up on it. Samurott looks at Ash, and Ash nods back. Samurott cries out, showing that it has gained control, and uses the new torrent power it has gotten. Using a massive razor shell, it does massive damage and knocks out Reshiram out of its controlled state. We can skip to episode 126 where Oshawa pays off against Duat, but in this continuity, they find a master and the master's name is Shin. Shin tells them that when you're fighting for the same thing and help each other reach your goals, that's when your true strength will show. Ash is fighting to become a master and Samurott wants to become a sword master. They both want to help each other reach their goal. Shin, after witnessing this event, shows them and teaches them the new technique called Storm Style. This is the same as a storm with the power to break metal and cut through lightning. You do this by using the two blades as one, keeping them as one piece the entire time. This, this allows the blades to have greater power than they would separate, thus allowing them to cut through moves like Thunderbolt and Iron Defense with absolutely zero issue. And they even come up with a new technique called Aqua Jet Blitz. This move makes Samurai move very fast. This allows Samurai to use Aqua Jet and move super fast to the point where he creates after images to confuse his opponents and then using the razor shell to hit them when it hits most. Though Ash contemplates leaving Samurai at Skullchop Island, as there is many opponents to train with, and he could learn many different styles, Samurai would definitely be happier here. However, on the way to the boat, Samurai's waiting outside for them with its Pokeball beside. Ash hugs Samurai, and they're both on their way to be queen masters, but before they leave, Shin has one thing to teach them. 
Shin says to complete their training, they have to defeat them. So it's a Samurai v Samurai. Shin Samurai is a lot older, but way more experienced. Ash is Samurai. Ash is Samurai. Ash and his samurai are on the same level in this battle, they're completely synchronized. Not to the point of Ash Greninja, but they definitely have, a, they're definitely working, working in unison. Ash tells, Ash tells Samurai to head into his berserk low power state. This way he can turn on Torrent. However, Shin goes for a water pledge. Ash thinking on his feet. How Samurai to tell Samurai to throw his sword into the air, followed by an aqua jet, and then they go diving in with the sword along with a mega, the mega horn. Shin uses Giga Impact, and a clash happens with both Pokemon. Both poke, the clash ends. Both Pokemon look at each other, and Shin goes down. He commends them on a great battle, and everything basically plays out the same. And Ash heads to Galos. I had a phenomenal time writing this what if. I had to record all of this in one take by the way, but I had a phenomenal time working on this what if. I had this what if in my mind for a long time and wanted to do it for a long time, but the reason is I just never had a reason to do it. A lot of you guys could have said, but you could have done it based on your own choice, but then I would get a lot of comments asking, what about this Pokemon, what about this Pokemon? But by these Pokemon a celebration for Pokemon's Legends Arceus, that means I can do Rowlet next without having to worry about me doing other parts. Yeah, I'm definitely making sure that I wanted to make sure that this isn't involved with Xanolith's Black and Red rewrite as he might have Samurott evolved in his, what should call it, in his rewrite and I definitely want to make sure they're completely separate works as he's working on a Black and Red rewrite and I love his Black and Red rewrite. Like I watch it almost every time it comes out because I'm very, I look forward to all of these new plots and I like the way he tells the story but I want to make sure my stuff stays separate and has its own identity as our writing styles are vastly different. And that's why I made Samurai's personality such a far cry of what you would expect. I made him a lot more like a real life Samurai who didn't use their blades unless they absolutely have to. Ash telling Samurai to use his blade on a Sawado kind of feels demeaning so of course Samurai clearly wouldn't want to do that. So, I want to say thank you for everybody for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. We're very close to 100 subscribers, so I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and Samurai out.